Hey guys, make sure to tell your dad about today's episode. He's gonna love it because we are checking out a golf cart, baby. This is the Abishu putter rod. Get it? Because you're gonna grab the putter out of the back of it. Anyway, anyway, this is a, a little mod that I just couldn't help uh, but show you guys just because, I mean, look at, look at it. It's, it's a freaking golf cart with flip-up headlights. What more, could you, what more could you possibly want, huh? Look at this bad boy. This thing might reach 20 miles an hour. Let's, uh, let's find out, shall we? Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. 19 miles an hour. Can we hit 20? Nope. Not 18. Come on. Get back up there. 18 miles an hour. <laughs> no, we're going to get passed up. Not exactly street legal. Oh, we're going to cause an accident. I can already tell you that right now. Here we go. Oh, and we just took the putter through the back of our skull. Unfortunately, not to worry, though, because there is actually uh, some other versions of this. By the way, this is built on the Widgeon frame. That's why you're going to find it under the Widgeon. Uh, but we actually have some interesting versions here. We have a couple of electric versions and some gas versions, of course. Uh, but we also have some weird stuff like a race edition, which makes this a go-kart, basically, not really a golf cart. Uh, but yeah, this one, for instance, is a golf cart with a screaming I-4 shoehorned in and everything extra removed goes like hell somewhat turns somewhat turns and barely stops good traits to have in a vehicle we also have a trike uh for some reason you want a three-wheel golf cart yeah it's pretty weird some of these we have an off-road version as well custom version uh this is the one i was using the club like the actual golf cart uh we also have the uh electric version of that as well uh we also have this thing right here the e-club lightning the most insane incarnation of the putteron has a vivas electric motor in the rear which is which uh leads to ludicrous speeds you know i kind of want to try this one how fast do you, you want to take bets how fast this thing is going to go i'm going to say 130 miles an hour oh god <laughs> it might oh man it might be a little bit more than that now that i'm actually getting this out on the road completely quiet of course since it is electric has a vivas engine oh oh lord okay we are already at 100 miles an hour okay there we go we might hit 150 in this thing if the traffic didn't turn into us any chance it could get what did we get up to i think i saw like 130 something we're dead by the way completely dead let's try that again if the traffic could behave for two seconds definitely swerved into me for no reason whatsoever okay so this thing definitely can go 150 right it's not the most aerodynamic vehicle i've ever seen but somehow it still gets up there man and oh we're not dead yet oh we're not <laughs> you know what maybe we should go to the salt flats that's um i mean we're already here i think that's the only place where the traffic is not going to kill us so let's go all the way over here it's the best place to do this kind of thing really all right so we basically have as much open road well not road open space as we could possibly want here so I'm thinking we can go at least 150 miles an hour. This thing is a little slidey though. I will say that there we go. We finally got our traction to 145, 150 and still climbing. 160, 170. Can we hit 200 in this thing? We're still climbing, man. 178, we are slowing up a little bit, 180. 181 how fast can we go we might run out of salt flats at this point 182 seems to be where we are actually topping out but keep in mind we are in a golf cart going 182 miles an hour just a little bit ridiculous wouldn't you <laughs> wouldn't you say <laughs> oh my goodness how does she stop though not very great. 
<laughs> well, you know, considering everything, I would say that wasn't bad at all. But jeez, man, this thing is a monster. All right, let's try a little bit of off-roading because we do have the off-road version here, the custom customized electric variant with an off-road suspension and tires, uh, different final drive welded diff and upgraded motor. What more could you possibly want? Although, what's this one? Taller suspension, off-road tires, de-restricted engine with a sports exhaust. I kind of want to try this one. I know there's an electric one. Which one's actually faster though? I'm not sure. Let's try this one though. The non-electric. There we go. I don't know what kind of golf course we're on, man, but this can this can definitely take it, baby. There we go. We seem to have damaged something. It's saying we damaged the door. We don't have a door, so I don't know what it's talking about. But uh, hey, this thing ain't bad. I mean, it's not the fastest. I think we're kind of topping out around 32 miles an hour. So not the fastest, but it does get over the terrain, which is which is all you could want. Do these things even have a seat belt? I don't think they do. I haven't been golfing in a while, but I'm pretty sure they don't. And I'm also pretty sure we probably shouldn't be wobbling this much. This thing may or may not be held together with duct tape. But, you know, that's why we love these sort of things, isn't it? <laughs> the jankier, the better. And I just love the flip up headlights, man. It's just so adorable. You can, you can uh, seriously tell this is built upon... Uh, the widget though. That's that's for sure. Can't we get a pond skipper variant though? That's like the fastest version of the widget. I mean, it only makes sense. I don't know where you'd put the engine, but I'm sure some genius could figure it out, right? All right. So now that we've seen what the putteron can do, why don't we see what it can do on the car jump arena? You know, speaking of car jump arena, who's excited for uh, the sequel to car jump arena? Yes, it is happening. If you want to know more, just look up Car Jump Arena 2023 on YouTube. You'll see it. The guy who made the original is indeed working on a, I, I guess it's not a remake. It's more of like a, the next iteration of Car Jump Arena. It looks freaking amazing, man. Definitely check it out because you know your boy is going to be the first one to upload it when that thing drops. Anyway, what should we try first? I feel like the regular golf cart, most of these aren't even going to make it to the bottom. Uh, they're simply too slow. Uh, so let's try the race car version. We haven't tried this one. How fast can this one go? I'm guessing probably a solid 100 miles an hour. That's a pretty substantial engine for this thing. Just get it under control. Well past 100 miles an hour. Oh, goodness. 150 miles an hour. Just about at the end of the, the track. That's going to get us past the 200, past the 300, nearly 350. Around 335-ish, I believe. And we're going to end up upside down. Not great, of course. <laughs> and we're going to skip the pool. But this thing still runs. Oh, that was actually a pretty clean landing. Uh, all things considered. <laughs> My goodness. All right, so we need to be 330. Uh, I think we could do it in the lightning, though. I really do. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, this, this is going to take a second to get under control here. Just ease into it. There we go. Perfection. Well past 150, 170, 180. That's going to... Oh, the wind caught us. Still going to get us past the 400, 450, 465. So... That is the winner right there. We have a golf cart almost going past the 500 mark on the car jump arena. That's a <laughs> not something I thought I was going to say today. Let's drop it in the pool to cool it off because we are on fire uh, at the moment. But uh, there we go. The putter on, baby. What more could you want? We had a golf cart years ago. Uh, I don't know if we've ever even had any more since then, but now we do. And if you guys want to check it out for yourself, I have it linked down below. Definitely uh, give it a look-see. It's a lot of fun, man. Even if it is a little uh, rough around the edges. That's why we love stuff like this. There was blood, sweat, and tears put into the spot. You'd love to see it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.